Right, so just a quick two seconds. Um, I just finished uh, watching uh, Keir Starmer do his speech and uh, Keir Starmer sets out a plan to let people invest billions in local community. All right, well, um, this is just an example of what a Zionist takeover of a left-wing political party looks like with one of their transplanted, uh, paid-off, bought-out leaders cut and pasted onto the head of a left-wing leadership. Jeremy Corbyn really is the spiritual leader of Labour. As you can see, all the forces of media, government, and probably secret societies and security agencies manipulated media and the public in order to discredit Jeremy Corbyn and now we're left with Keir Starmer. So Keir Starmer, the man who just kicked the Ford report into anti-black racism down the road indefinitely, Keir Starmer, the one who has looked at the Chakrabarti report and decided that Labour didn't do anything when clearly the Chakrabarti report pointed out that Labour was actually actively doing stuff to counter what anti-semitism there was because there wasn't really that much really, there wasn't really any. In fact there was more Islamophobic and anti-black racism at that time. That's what the Chakrabarti report pointed out as far as I was concerned. What I got out of the Chakrabarti report was while everyone was running around claiming anti-Semitism, anti-Islamophobic uh, rhetoric and anti-black rhetoric and anti-black sentiment was rife in Labour. So those who just came at me in the chat saying that I'm a Trumpist, right? Just I want you just to have a look at what a false transplanted Zionist takeover leader looks like okay so here we've got Keir doing his speech right but what you need to do right remember this meant to be the leader of the Labour Party the leader of the Labour Party let's look down and the lion sack of shite okay that's 29 minutes this finished about 20 minutes ago uh, he looks like someone who should play the Prime Minister in a Spice Girls movie not actually be a PM Scroll down. Starmer is the nail in the coffin for Labour, RIP. Hey Siri, what does 20 points ahead not look like? Okay. He wants your pensions to invest in green energy. We just seen our government destroy our economy unnecessarily. I do not trust. Anyway, imagine thinking this guy would make a good leader. Ha ha ha, that's hilarious. Why does Starmer always look like he's pushing out a turtle's head? This guy has no beliefs and standards for nothing but himself. We're an absolute state, sat on the fence this whole pandemic. No probing questions. And this twerp wants a socialist state. Nobody wants this dangerous man as their Prime Minister. Wow, how inspiring. Keir Starmer, you've outdone yourself. That's sarcasm. Uh, well, he's got to say something, anything really. Right, and it just goes on and on. He's working for the elite. Uh, Labour just gets worse. Uh, Keir Starmer protected Jimmy Savile. Never take orders from the pedo government. Yeah, that's true. He just wants to be Prime Minister. Had to bankrupt your country swiftly and easily. Vote Labour. Well, that's probably a Tory that said that. Uh, because uh, what's the state of the country right now? Fake opposition. True. Bold of you to assume any of us were saving for after this. No confidence. It just goes on and on and on. It's just negative, 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 negative. All right. So, but you might think, well, that's just a, that's just a YouTube channel, right? Let's just go to some of the comments that were made on on the Facebook, shall we? Um, hold on. Um, scroll down. Let's go over and have a look. Right. Compare him to the state that is Boris Johnson. He has combed his hair as gravity. Guess my vote. Okay. The mo the minimal. Wow. This is quite a change from the Tories that we are only caring only about how them and their friends will make money even when it's out of others' misfortunes. Says the man so far removed from the people he's supposed to represent. More reasons to vote to get out of the UK. Come to the indie referendum in Scotland. Thank God we have someone with a good brain and compassion. Oh my God, that's the, that's the first positive one I've seen. No, see, there's another one thinking that Corbyn gave us Boris. No, Starmer helped his speech, body language, head nodding and hand waving all choreographed. Poor copy of Tony Blair. We have the worst government ever and this bloke is so bad. He still manages to be behind Johnson in the polls. How bad can you get? How's uniting the party going for you, Keir? Expelled enough socialists from from a socialist party yet? And that, that is top comment for this guy over here, right? Have you, expel, have you expelled enough socialists from a socialist party yet? All of his ilk call left-wing thinkers, left-wing idealists, socialists, trots, and then the scum of the scum in the party. Labour's been taken over by right-wingers, champagne socialists, Tories in all but name. In about five or six years, they'll go over to the Tory side without batting an eyelid. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's the state of Labour. Totally infiltrated. Labour is 
totally infiltrated and even when their poster child is doing a live speech nothing but derision in the comments how do you know it in the party going for you kit expelled enough socialists from a socialist party as you kick the ford report down the road into anti-black racism indefinitely right oh dear obviously there's obviously going to be a, a few just like butt butt licking wipes and so Elaine says, didn't think anyone could be worse than JC. JC wasn't bad. But if you believe the Zionist right-wing rhetoric and you're an idiot, well, then you would think that. But he's certainly pushing people's buttons because he's an idiot. But, you know, Elaine's just obviously politically ignorant. Labour had its chance at socialist reform with Corbyn. Yes, it did. Please don't tell me Labour will oppose tax rises on corporations. Yes, it will. Yeah, under Keir Starmer, well, yes. Taxing those who profited from the pandemic wouldn't choke off a recovery. It would help tackle inequality. That's right. For heaven's sake, another effing three word slogan. I don't want a Labour Party that reminds that remains in opposition forever. There are a lot of really selfish, politically ignorant individuals who basically are they're empty husks. Yeah, they believe any negative smear campaign and they'll go along with the negative smear campaign and then turn around and go, I vote Labour, but Jeremy Corbyn's an idiot. It's, it's actually quite sad um, because at least the Tories are united in their evil. That makes sense. But unfortunately, on the left-wing Labour side, there are way too many who are just susceptible to all the propaganda and they buy it, like and sink. And they can't even see that, even though they buy it, the thing that they run to after they bought that is worse, is worse than the thing that they were opposing in the first place. Running off to Keir Starmer. Right, I would encourage any black person within the range of my voice who can hear my voice to do 30 seconds of research into the Labour Party and please look up the Ford report. If you're black, and you're going to vote, okay, and you, you think automatically you should vote Labour, I have news for you, my friend. Uh, Labour's not the party it once was. It doesn't have your person of colour interests at heart anymore. There are one or two people in there at the moment. You've got people like Dawn Butler in there, at a stretch, Diane Abbott in there, still at the coal fest, trying to do positive stuff. And I say at a stretch, Diane Abbott because I've got my problems with Diane Abbott. But there are one or two black MPs who've just totally given up on other black people. Like MPs, any MP of colour that did not put their name to querying why the Ford report was kicked into touch indefinitely. If you're a black MP and you didn't put your name to that, you're a disgrace, right? And uh, you're an aberration of a black representative, which is what you are. If you're black and you're thinking about voting Labour, you can't vote for Keir Starmer. You can't because you're voting against your own interests, right? Please take 30 seconds to research what the Ford report was and where that is right now. How's the Ford report going? Because if you're a person of colour like I am, have been Labour all my life, I am, you're, you're probably sick. You probably drowned in the sickness of the anti-Semitism sham bullshit that we had to go through. That fake, contrived bollocks that pretty much um, was responsible for deposing Jeremy Corbyn. But what it also did was it highlighted all the traitorous, cancerous growths that were still resident in, in Labour. And they're still there. People like Chuck Wormu and all that, like who went and that other big nose thing who went off with him. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Oh, ooh. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm a black man. I could sort some big nose if I want to. I could sort big lip if I want to. What are you talking about? But anyways, yeah. anyways, do it. Do your do thirty seconds of research. You can't talk to me about anti-Semitism while you're anti-black and anti-Islam phobic. Fuck out of here, right? Kill that stuff, and then we might be able to talk about anti-Semitism. But until that time, there is no way on planet Earth. You have a moral high ground on anti-Semitism. No, you don't. Anti-Semitism is the Trojan horse used by Zionists to undermine left-wing politics in the, in the West at the moment. That's what anti-Semitism is. Yeah, it's a tool to undermine left-wing politics or individuals, especially notable black professional individuals or black businessmen or your Nick Cannons or your Professor Griffs. Or anyone else that dares to have a popular black following and then start identifying the truth of how we got here. And the players instrumental in tripping us up at this point. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am the king and will not be. I am the king and will not be.